my name's Jen Taylor. John Bestfather. My name's Joel McFabe. Nicole Cabay. My name is Ryan Nagar. Carrie McClelland. My name is Adam Bruce Kennedy Humphrey. Sam Hand. My name is Eva Holland. Zoe Brawl. My name is Chris Maloon. One of the best trips I've done, for sure. Right. So we'll take them in here because that's where there's all the calving that's having. Part of it all is sort of the pre gear pack a couple of days before lunch. We drove to Skagway. Skagway, we got on the ferry to Juneau. We're just saying we're so glad that it's Joel doing this. Does that take us? Two. Or roughly 14 hours of very cruise time. To flow in my own sea, to chase my own dreams on this adventure of me. Um, and we got a ride from this lady named Strawberry and uh, ended up going to the Viz, not the visitor center, the Viz, that's what the locals call it, and uh, had a chat with the park rangers and started packing all our boats, getting ready, waiting for the tide to uh, come back up so we can go through the narrow. Rains and I love that I have no idea what's next. It could be northern lights, or Rocky Mountain has a fun to be open to anything. This is the journey of the soul, it's the adventure of me. No matter what I'm doing, I'm free to roam my own way, to flow in my own sea, and chase my own dreams on this adventure of me. close to 200 sea otters. It's always blown away. That's unreal. That's something you only see when elementary school books. Our weather was fantastic. The, uh, there was a little bit of smoke that was coming in, so we were kind of in this little bubble of uh, forest fire smoke coming in from Alaska and the Yukon. How was your day today, Kerry? I don't understand what place Coconut we're in. <laughs> like, Why is that? We're all like, what's that noise? Oh look, it's 150 sea otter. It's just chilling over there. What sound does a porpoise make? It makes a ch sound. Like that, the porpoise that rose right behind us. And then we picked a campsite full of wild strawberries. And there are four whales just, just there. What type of whales? Humpback whale. Oh, there they are. Just like no. calling. 
That's You're just call it. I don't I don't understand. <laughs> True third. No. That's called trumpeting, yeah. Can you believe it now? It's called trumpeting. This is not happening. No. This is actually that is happening. No. Where's the ship? Guys, we're not above water. But the sound travels. Whales are magical. Water. They are magical. I believe in the sacred now. <laughs> that one was. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that wakes me up in the middle of the night. I would not even be mad. No. Holy smokes. Bald eagles and the stellar sea lions. What else did we see today? Lots of ducks, we saw some loons, we saw a yeah. whole lot of stuff. So it's been a good day. She hides the other side And I thought, thought I saw her Broken homes, rattle bones Why that problem before Now I know what I've got What I've got in store And I've seen future Hiding beneath the water And I've seen future And I cannot seem to wonder Humpbacks over there, humpbacks there, and I'm pretty sure there's some humpbacks over there. So we're gonna put it on the wildlife track. See the stars above from the floor. I see now. Cold night, sunny sky. Just me, my easy eyes I've done it too I once with you But where is my demise I've seen it all in my ears. Woke up at like 2 or 3 o'clock this morning And got out of my tent and stood and watched the whales in my underwear for a while And I was like, this is gonna for sure be my rose for today um, And then a whale popped out behind me and Carrie's kayak like 20-30 feet away And that was insane and it totally blew the whole underwear whale watching thing out of the water. <laughs> so, <laughs> as it were. And I definitely noticed as soon as you yelled sea lion that your wake got considerably bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I said, sea bear! <laughs> Beautiful rock with the view of the whales like we've seen all day. And I was like, that's a great place to poop. And no warning, no sign. I stepped around the corner and I went, huh. Rocks don't go squish. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's a brown rock. It's not a rock. So, yeah, I had a poopy shoe. <laughs> I think it's pretty neat the amount of whales and stuff that now we just kind of ignore them and carry on with what we're doing. <laughs> 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 you see a seal, we're like, oh, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. Interrupting whale. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. up in the next morning and then we uh, continued on for many a day uh, traveling north all the way to McBride Glacier. It gave us time to kind of get into the swing of things and figure out our routines and then just kind of relax more and know that we had it kind of under control. 
Cattle Jen. Awesome. Yeah. I am refilling all the water bottles with this nice cold filtered, mm -hmm. fresh, unsalted water. We fought it for so long. Give me the night to breathe in your body. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where did we get this thing? <laughs> breathe in your eyes. But show me a queen. Are you ready for the motion, sway, devotion, awake, the morning, you hear it, this moment, sacred, I'm saying your name. Six of us um, had a, a nice, a beautiful view of the Bright Glacier as the currents were kind of pushing us around and seals were, seals were popping up. And, and icebergs were kind of, kind of floating about. Um, I didn't anticipate the number of kind of small icebergs that would uh, sit on the shore as the tide would recede and, tide and go down, and then they would just be left there, if just eroded through the salt water or eroded by the salt water, and um, have this fantastic texture and excellent color. Uh, and then they it would be different the next day because the tide would rise and they would get picked up and taken on their journey for. Uh, wherever that was going to be, and then a whole new slew of uh, icebergs would uh, take its place. So it was ever-changing, so it was really nice. We spent the morning doing stretching and yoga in a giant beach strewn with icebergs. I mean, look at the structures. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Are you ready for the motion, sway, devotion? Wishy Bay, Alaska. That it is. Hear it, this moment, sacred, I'm saying your name. I'm saying your name. <laughs> it was incredible to be on the trip for so long and at a certain point things just started to flow together and time didn't really matter, it was more just the sounds and the experiences. out in my head the most are the sounds. The sounds of uh, animals, of birds, of laughter, of a cook stove, of the perfectly calm waters. To you each day. And again, we, I think everybody was sad that we had to leave. It's funny how we... You 
Adam Shine. Shine. Next, wherever you call home. Sam and Junior Ranger From Adam, they got engaged on their trip. So let's give them a congratulations. I told you that I loved you. And you said you felt the same. But it was just a heat wave. But it was just a heat wave. whales, trumpeting whales, like it, we we checked off everything that we needed to check off. There was there nobody was left wanting more at the end of the trip. We saw everything. Mm -hmm. 